Have you ever wanted to make your own plugin? I just made one in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. We're going to try and do it again in real time here. Uh, if you've ever wanted to add a custom Bricks widget to Bricks Builder as an element that you could add uh, directly in the Builder like these, uh, we're going to do that. Um, it's pretty easy. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time, and I figured it out. So let's do it right now. Uh, WP Monkey is the site we're going to be using today. This is a site from, um, I believe it's from Danielle from Bricks Forge. And if we look at this uh, Bricks widget creator, this is what we're going to be checking out today to visually build our own custom Bricks widget. And if that sounds daunting, uh, don't worry, it's not that bad. Um, now there's a bunch of stuff here. There's a web app here. We're just gonna open up the free version. I don't, I don't have a license to this or anything. I'm not even gonna log in just to show you. Uh, there's, it looks like there's one for Elementor. There's a Bricks widget one. There's a view plugin generator. There's some really cool stuff here for generators. There's like a uh, menu generator, short code. There's some premium ones here. Obviously I can't look at those, but plugin header, theme header, hooks, sidebar. Anyway, right now we're gonna look at tools and we're gonna go to Bricks widget creator. All right, and I'm gonna make like a, I don't know, event, uh, Bricks event element. And that's gonna be our name. And you can see um, over here, there is a sidebar with a preview sort of of what it would look like in Bricks. So. If we come in here and we say um, select widget, I'm not, not sure exactly. There's some there's some premium stuff there. I think that um, I obviously don't have access to, but uh, let's come down here to our widget name, and this will be our event event element. I just call it events, and that's and you can see here it's renamed it uh, here. Custom category. I don't know if we need, to, this is gonna be a category for the element. Let's just do no. Let's choose a calendar. There must be a calendar in here. C for calendar. Let's see, let's just choose that. And it looks like there's some basic versus uh, nestable is, is premium. So that's probably gives, gonna give you way more functionality. And again, this is not like supposed to be a best practice. Like you should go and create a custom bricks widget. Um, I'm just kind of checking it out to see see how it all works. So um, let's see here. So field group, our label will be event details, I guess. And let's add something below that. Let's change this from group. Let's change this to just a text field. And we'll call this event title. Okay, and then you, when you tab, that will automatically create this ID. And there's a little variable that we'll use later that that creates. And then let's just add some more stuff here. Let's call this um, event speaker uh, first name, I guess. And that'll do that. Okay, let's add another text field. Let's call that event speaker last name. I guess. Okay. And let's go text. Let's do event start time and we'll copy that. And we'll do event, uh, end time. Okay. So there we've got some fields here that we can see are, are looking a little bit familiar if you've used bricks. Okay. Um, now the other thing, I guess you could probably do here. I, I haven't tried this with actual um, custom fields or anything, but I suppose you could do like if you if you mapped your uh, custom fields, you could do like this and have it be a placeholder for your um, for for your dynamic data. So you, I guess you can create this dynamically pretty easily and have placeholder. Again, you can do this all in bricks, right? But I don't know. We're just checking this out. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and add, I don't know, like, let's see. Now, again, I guess I'll see. There's also like some style stuff, it looks like, and some content. There's like a date picker link icon. Those, So those are pickers, I guess. So some of this is, some of these are, are CSS styles. 
uh, and some are content stuff. And I guess, I don't know, let's do a text editor for event description. And you can see also that has previewed this, um, this event description here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, again, you could, you could have this be populated dynamically. Uh, I would assume that would put that in there, though I'm not, not quite sure there. Um, and then also, I don't, let's do plus again. I saw that there is, here's this tab. Instead of content, there's a style tab. And it, it looks like most of these, I mean, there's a color. I don't know what that, if that's doing anything. Default, I don't know. Do I need to put a variable in here? Default RGBA value, okay. Uh, RGBA value. Can I just grab a random one from here? Uh, whatever it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter let's just let's just keep going through it um sorry clicking around like crazy crazy man here okay all right um so so you get the idea oh there's my color down here i guess <laughs> okay uh anyway it looks like there's some premium features that we don't have access to that's fine now let's let's scroll down a bit uh past all the fields we've created and then we've got um here we can Add your custom HTML output. PHP is allowed. There's a CSS tab. There's a JavaScript tab. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, we're not gonna do all that right now. Let's just let's just keep this basic here, I guess. Let's just do a let's just do a paragraph text. I, I, yeah, again, this is not supposed to be best practices here. Uh, I'm sure there's very talented people that can do this uh, and do this the right way. But let's keep going. All right, so. P paragraph text let's just do i don't know let's let's get rid of this let's get rid of this and say uh let's just put the event title in that's copied oops event title i don't see another way to render it but it looks like it's marked to blue now for um the fact that it's inserted in here. So I don't know, let's just speaker first name. Um, speaker, I, I guess we could just type right in here and then copy this, paste that, yeah. I guess, I don't know, I, we're just gonna, we're just gonna power through it. Let's uh, put the start time start time is that and let's copy that whole thing do that end time end time and end time okay uh what else we got the description uh again let's just let's just throw some some p tags in here real quick i guess uh to do event description event description and it's probably i would i would honestly imagine it's not best practice to put these uh <laughs> titles in here but so anyway okay whatever we're done we're done we got it we got our we got our uh, custom element um i have one with placeholder text to see if that carries over to the plugin uh also i see there's a, a focus mode oh cool there then it renders it uh, awesome. So that's, that's, that's nice to have. Let's download this. Okay. We've got our bricks element. Awesome. Let's go back to our site. Let's refresh our plugin list. Let's add new upload plugin. Oh, wait, let me see really quick. Ooh, sorry. Should have done this really quick. I'm going to come up to, got to make sure, where is it? Um, I'm not seeing, I thought there was like a, there was something I saw earlier about entering my name as like the whatever plugin creator. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's just go back. Let's add the plugin, Rick's event element. Activate plugin, fantastic. Go to pages, 
Let's just uh, open up this draft one I had earlier. And let's add a new section here. And let's go to plus or control shift E if you don't know about that shortcut. Let's search for events. Oh, look, there's my event. There is my event title. There's, it's called events. There's my event details, event title, event speaker name, Brendan. Oh, Connell. Like that. Oh, look. And it shows up. And start time is ooh, for you Europeans. I'll use European time 13 to, I don't know, 15. Awesome. My event description. There it goes. I mean, so that's pretty basic. Uh, styling. I didn't add styling, but it looks like it comes with the, of course, the default bricks ones. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe I needed to like map map something over. Yeah, it seems like it's not picking those up. So that's probably because I don't have access to that style. Um, in any case, there's our event. There's our custom event. All right. <laughs> Check it out. Bye.